Fresh insight from Rochester officials today surrounding an upcoming spring internship with the Rochester City School District and the Rochester Police Department. Isabel Garcia joins us now in studio with details about the long-term goals leaders have for this. Isabel. Yes, Adam, this is kind of a revival, but more of a revamp, if you will. And it comes as the department also brought back its community affairs deputy chief position last summer. There will be parent info sessions, too. And the idea is really to introduce the range of career options within the law enforcement industry. For me, it's important that, um, that our youth are key stakeholders in this community. Um, and I wanted to change the perception uh, of police in the community. So we decided to put this program together. Deputy Chief of Community Affairs Keith Stith was appointed by the mayor last summer, having recently retired as Chief of Detectives of the Hudson County, New Jersey Prosecutor's Office. That's where he helped enact major change. We led the country in police reform. Uh, we didn't talk about defunding police. We focused on police culture. Stith is now helping to bring those experiences and decades in law enforcement to an internship program with middle school students at RCSD. So where one may think the term police equals uniformed officer, it could also look like a lab coat. I use the example that here we have a deputy chief that's responsible for a $90 million budget, right? So they need to see that, you know, it's more than police and then putting handcuffs on people. And the kids will learn about careers in law enforcement, not just with, you know, being a police officer, which would be great for recruiting but also about, you know, forensics, business administration, learning all the different facets of a police department. It will be a competitive process with applications going out this week. Parents will also be required to attend two information sessions with their student. And a more long-term goal is to cultivate an open space for tough conversations. Imagine a, a young person assigned to community policing and giving us ideas on how he wants his or her community to be policed. Um, I think that's pretty important. And initially, this was going to be a small group of about 15 students for the program aimed to be a pilot, but I'm told there's actually been such interest, they're now expanding it to up to 35 students. Back to you at the desk. Isabel, thanks. Students accepted to the program will also complete a presentation about their experiences, and they'll also receive a $125 Visa gift card once finished.